Hello guys, welcome back to uh, Gaming with Bonji. Uh, today, with a little tutorial, little, uh, short tutorial to uh, explain to you how to get started in simulator battles and uh, some tips and tricks. So let's get started. Uh, you're seeing me trying the <laughs> Malta operation here. It's uh, quite. Uh, it was uh, two or three days ago. And uh, this is a, a replay, so uh, you're not seeing what I'm doing. But I was uh, actually setting up my joystick, uh, the controls for my joystick, and I didn't have the engine, uh, the engine start uh, set up. So <laughs> um, remember to set up your engine start if you're using, if you're using a joystick or. Uh, uh, even if you're using just a uh, mouse and keyboard and uh, I have a Logitech Force uh, 3D Pro as you can see <laughs> I, you have to remember to set your <laughs> controls up right and uh, not to, do, to give too much throttle at the start start with uh, maybe 50% and uh, on the takeoff and then uh, as you accelerate, you can um, take it like to 70%, 80, and then uh, to full speed. Because if you you can compensate, if you just uh, take it up to web, and uh, you get in a spin like I did, and uh, <laughs> I didn't know at the time, but uh, I had uh, the controls set up uh, backwards. So the y-axis was uh, actually uh, inverted, and uh, the x-axis uh, was uh, inverted too, and uh, <laughs> I struggled a little bit at the beginning, and uh, I was actually <laughs> trying to get the things right, but uh, I didn't find the how to over the x-axis and you actually have to go uh, under the the axis setup and uh, tell, tell him to invert it but it's uh, not uh, really clear because you have to invert it in like two steps and so after <laughs> I finally I think I finally found out to invert the axis uh, as you can see uh, this is a video about uh, how can you be doing the first time because I'm like in uh, I'm uh, still standing still in the, in the field and I'm don't, not doing anything uh, and uh, it can happen to you too so now I finally <laughs> found out to to invert the axis, and uh, I was trying to taxi, but I still didn't knew how to really throttle up right. So it uh, I went in a spin again, and uh, <laughs> the first uh, two clips are uh, all about this, about finding how to how to start and how to to get yourself in the air without crashing and uh, remember that I said uh, the y-axis was uh, was inverted too you're going to see <laughs> you're going to see in a moment what happens because I was trying to pull up but it's inverted so <laughs> yeah that didn't work out too well uh, <laughs> the axis was inverted and uh, as I I was trying to pull up the plane wanted to go down and I tried to pull up more and uh, the plane just uh, <laughs> planted himself uh, into the ground and uh, you have to remember if you have a joystick actually to to get your key bindings right and uh, I didn't have the MGs uh, the MGs set, uh, set up as the same button as the the cannons so I had to set it up to, 
and this is the after I repaired the second try to take off but I didn't manage I did manage to not uh, control the y axis and I tried to pull up <laughs> again planted himself self in the ground and uh, it's not really good because uh, I had to wait like two minutes and it was really pissed off and uh, third, third attempt and then uh, it's going to be the same as the sec but then I figured out to where the y-axis and uh, I was so pissed off that after this I just uh, gave up and tried something different and so I jumped in my Mark II B Spitfire in uh, uh, simulator, uh, not a, a mission, it's a random simulator battle. It's uh, still on Mal is still in Malta. Now this is the second try with the yeah, this is the second try with the Mark V C Spitfire, and I didn't set up my this one is the. Ooh, I didn't remember to set up my trim, so I have to continually uh, try to crack the, the angle of the, the plane. So I went out uh, the menu, menu to search if I could uh, find the, a control for trim elevator and <laughs> you know. Why, while you you're in the menu, you can't uh, steer the aircraft. So it went into a flat spin, which is not really good because you're going to see in a moment you can't recover a flat spin. And now, yeah, it's stalled and it's spinning, and I can take it back. So we're down. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> this was the last one I tried. So, yeah, as I was talking, uh, I tried the MK2 Spitfire in uh, New Guinea. It is quite a good match because uh, this is my the match where I scored my first air kill. And uh, here I I figured out how to to do all the the things and as you can see uh, you have to throttle up to like 50% and then uh, when you are comfortable the controls you can uh, throttle one more and 75 and now I was like skidding to the left and uh, <laughs> pull up pull up pull up then try to, to take off because I'm going right right into the breeze gear up and uh, the difficult thing about uh, simulator battles is uh, you don't have any minimap first you can see any you don't have any target indicators yeah, well you don't have them realistic too you can't uh, predict where to shoot but you don't uh, have the names above the the enemies so you have to to search for them you you don't spot them uh, immediately because uh, you have a shiny name on above their plane, but uh, you have to to spot them with your eyes, and it's not really really easy. Uh, maybe just for me, but it, uh, it's not really the easiest thing to do to spot some uh, some flying aircraft. They're like uh, only tiny tiny black dots and. Uh, going to see in a moment. I am quite lucky because I spot a group of them and uh, I, I take one down easily. And they're actually pretty fun simulator and, they <laughs> and when I got the kill it was like uh, yay, come on. So rewarding because uh, simulator is even uh, better than, than realistic because uh, you, can, you don't have third person view just in the cockpit and uh, you're like a real pilot apart from all the gorgeous <laughs> up in the left and <laughs> the computer <laughs> yeah 
but uh, it's really funny because uh, when you start to get used to it, you you are pretty good. And uh, uh, I actually had my mouse as uh, the view, so it's nice to have the joystick to control, and then you can move your your head to spot the enemies. And as you can see, I spotted. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but uh, there are like uh, two, two or three dots down there. I seen one. And there are like five aircraft in a formation down there uh, above our our ships. And uh, so I move, uh, I move closer to see if uh, I'm right in the uh, their their enemies. And the thing about simulator is that <laughs> even if you're following an ally, if you if you're uh, not closer than than a kilometer, you don't get the name, so you <laughs> you you can know <laughs> if it, it's an enemy or an, an ally. So as you can see, three uh, three down low, and uh, this is actually a live live gameplay, live footage, so it's not a replay was doing this uh, while uh, I was uh, flying so <laughs> it's really cool because I can move my head and I get I got a critical aid on that uh, that pipeline and now I have to spot them again they're they're there so and <laughs> the difficult thing about the simulator is uh, aiming too, because with the joystick, with like mouse uh, mouse aim, you as you can see, I'm missing all the uh, shots. With mouse aim, you just point the mouse in a different direction, and uh, the computer does the perfect maneuver uh, by itself. But with the joystick, you have to control the the rudder, the the elevator, and the ailerons, and uh, adjust your position to to get the best shot on the, the enemy which is not really <laughs> and uh, as you can see they split up and I didn't know if, uh, who to follow and then I I choose this one and as you can see it's really hard to point the, the nose at the target and uh, a little um, uh, I don't know how, how to call this but uh, like uh, talking about the, the Mark II Speedfire uh, when it um, you have a realistic uh, flight uh, model in a realistic and simulator so this uh, this aircraft didn't have a if I'm not right I think didn't have a supercharger and so uh, you got into negative g g force you uh, the, the fuel didn't get uh, sucked into the, the the cylinders so you lost power and uh, sometimes uh, the, the engine even stops so uh, when I'm going like to point the nose uh, downwards it's um, the engine loses power and uh, See, these are some really beautiful, beautiful uh, scenes to watch because it's a really good dogfight, and I really enjoyed flying even at. Uh, and as you can see, I I got one, and um, even if I I just spent uh, most of the time uh, flying around like an idiot, uh, it's it's uh, I, I can't say like relaxing, but. Uh, I really enjoyed flying and you have to maneuver it carefully and I was saying uh, um, it loses power and so the engine uh, again the, the, the revs of the engine uh, uh, go down and uh, I don't know if you can hear it but uh, sometimes it uh, it happens and that Hellcat did uh, really have a. Uh, the two Hellcats did really have a. Uh, 
a nice game. I don't know, uh, there are a lot of uh, experienced simulator players. I'm not really one of, I'm not one of them because I'm, I'm shit as you can see, I'm not really good. But, <laughs> uh, yeah. And uh, I spend most of the time flying around like this, but it's really, even if it's just flying, it's, uh, it's uh, really interesting to watch. And it was really fun, fun to fly and uh, the thing uh, I was talking about earlier that uh, a realistic and simulator are much more rewarding than arcade it's, uh, it's really it's true because uh, you have to, to to do more to, to, to get a kill to, to just uh, get a hit on the enemy and uh, in my video, if you want to check out uh, my War Thunder video, War Thunder with Bonji, which is uh, the, um, the intro to my channel, too. Uh, it's, uh, there is a dogfight with the, the Yak-90, I'm following the Focke Wolf on 90, and uh, it just, uh, it's beautiful to watch, because uh, <laughs> it's just, uh, it's, I, I can't describe it, it uh, it's really good to watch because dog fights are uh, even uh, even um, as you can see there is a, a bomber there but I can I can point my nose at him uh, even if it's just a replay uh, yeah it's it's really good to watch and uh, sometimes it makes you think uh, at how these uh, pilots really flown and. Uh, the numbers that they scored, the aces of the various na various nations uh, really got a lot of a lot of air kills, and uh, that makes you think uh, how the fuck did they do that? <laughs> but <laughs> come on, uh, my father is a aircraft pilot, so I I can enjoy the. The, the pleasure of flying uh, when I want actually so and flying is really fun and it's really cool I fly myself and uh, it's really you, you you feel free when you fly because uh, like the yeah, up in the sky without uh, without anything that can uh, disturb you and uh, bother you it's really nice and sometimes uh, a friend of mine said uh, well, when you're up uh, maybe late in the evening or in the night you just uh, you can just turn off your radio and uh, watch the stars and feel free like uh, like a bird which is uh, really really nice because uh, really good sensation and a good feeling and uh, back to the to this replay <laughs> it's uh, uh, it's uh, it's going to be over soon so and as you can see the explosions the, 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 the gunfire you're here in the cockpit and you you can quite literally feel the action of the the pilots you're, you're just sitting on your desk uh, on your office but uh, it's, uh, it's a cool feeling it's really fun to do because uh, I think that I'm going to uh, to do some more simulator battles because they are they are good if I can get um, if I can uh, get better at simulator battles and, uh, and enjoy them. I will because uh, I found out that they're really, really interesting and uh, if you... I think you'll enjoy them too if you want to try them, they're really fun, so... Now uh, we got uh, Arrow the Sky and Bulletproof, which is nice. And, uh,
if you can see the post game stars made uh, yeah as you can see we made uh, 16 16k credits which is not really bad because we got an air kill and uh, it's quite good <laughs> so now uh, that we're we're going to see some uh, some screenshots after the, um, the post game stats uh, we'll talk about a little bit uh, simulator battles and uh, the fact that uh, if you have a joystick uh, they're uh, easier because they tried them with um, mouse and keyboard but it's not really flyable the aircraft and so if you have a joystick it's uh, better to to use it because there are really cheap joysticks on the market and uh, they're really good and uh, they make you it they make the game feel like another game because with mouse and keyboard they think that uh, in realistic and uh, and arcade it's uh, it's uh, really easy but in simulator it's uh, too hard to fly with uh, mouse and keyboard so um, you better have a joystick because uh, you're not going to be able to fly with mouse and keyboard so um, <laughs> while you're watching these screenshots uh, don't uh, if you like the video uh, press like and subscribe to my channel because uh, there's going to be more footage, more tutorials and more like that and uh, subscribe and if you want to leave a comment uh, feel free to leave it and uh, we'll see the next time. Bye!